empower us in this moment. Empower us, Father, so that we can reach this generation. Father, it's more than starting a church. It's about equipping your saints. It's about equipping the generals. It's about equipping this generation that has gone so far astray from your presence, from your glory. In the name of Jesus, I speak power and authority over this generation and let them come back to you, Father. They may return their hearts to you. Amen. Wow. So people ask me all the time, what is Peniel? Peniel significa el rostro de Dios. Peniel means the face of God. Peniel is a place where God will change your identity. Peniel is a place where God confronts you face to face. The Bible says that Jacob fought with the angel. Dice la Biblia que Jacob luchaba con un ángel. When he fought the angel, the Bible says that he changed his identity. Cuando luchaba con el ángel, dice la Biblia que Dios o el ángel cambió su identidad. He said, you will no longer be called Jacob. Ya no te vas a llamar Jacob. Ahora tu nombre va a ser Israel. Your name is going to be Israel. Peniel is a place where his identity got changed. Peniel es un lugar donde su identidad fue cambiado. He says, I will call that place Peniel because I seen the face of God. We live in a world full of information. We live in a time where our kids are full of information. We're living in a time where we've complicated the gospel. You tell them about God and they don't want to know about God because they're already filled with something else. So Peniel is a place where you can separate yourself from all that. So our goal in Peniel is to take you back to the basics so that you can stay humble, so that you can understand what your creator did for you. You can understand what Jesus did for you. You know, in, in life, sometimes we, we, we come to a point where we think we, we know a lot, that we have this understanding. It turns out that, that you don't know how, how cold you are till you get next to somebody that's on fire. I think it was super amazing how God brought together these, these young people, these young people that, um, you know, maybe they have gone to, to church their whole lives or maybe, you know, they barely uh, are going to church, you know, maybe they're barely getting to know who Jesus is, who God is. And a lot of the times they come here angry, a lot of you came here confused, and a lot of the times they come here and they're lost. And I asked many of them and they said, yeah, it's confusing, yeah, it was weird, but it felt good. And a lot of them say, they're like, we've never been served this way. And they're just so, they're so amazed, not only by the serving, but they're amazed by the worship, they're amazed by the speaking. How I feel right now, I feel like there's power in me. Like, the sessions we had, they were strong, and they broke me really good. When you feel alone, when you feel depressed, 
God says, why don't you just come to me? There's something about seeing God face to face that makes your life change. Because when you see God face to face, it says that it marks you. Social anxiety, anxiety and depression was, was, was is not a factor like it was before. No self-doubt. I have no self-doubt. Like I looked at myself in the mirror just now and I was like, I look good. I could never do that. I was set free yesterday and it felt amazing like, to finally be able to breathe again. I feel like I'm getting built in God's image. I felt completely changed. I just felt like, like I could do anything. I, I didn't think this was going to happen on me. But when I was in there, I realized that God wants a change for me. He wants me to be a different person, you know? I think that when people come here to Peña, they realize they are they are experiencing something that they have not ever experienced. After like the topics, like we always go into worship and like there's not been one worship that I did not break down. Um, I still have a lot of stuff to let go, but I'm just looking forward to like let us go and just be free. I believe that yesterday it was the start of something new for their new for their brand new lives. So they asked me, is Peniel necessary? And I say, yes. And they asked me, why is it so necessary? It's necessary because we've complicated the gospel. The Bible says in Luke chapter five, it says that the people hungered for the word of God, but they were preaching an impossible God. And Jesus comes and he simplifies the word. Is Peniel the only way? No, I believe that there's a lot of ways to get connected with God. But I believe that this is one of the tools that God has lifted up in this time to grab a hold of this complicated generation. Peniel is a place that takes all the fleshly things away from you. So Peniel is a place where you can separate yourself from all that. My goal with Peniel is to take you back to the basics. Soldier, keep on marching.